in our quest to improve the uh, livelihood of a uh, lot of Ghanaians. The GMPC Foundation decided to embark on this journey. This is to ensure that we don't leave the uneducated behind. Uh, I'm using that uh, advice. A lot of graduates are benefiting from GMPC Foundation. As in, after their first degree, we give them scholarship to study their postgraduate, and even their first degree also scores at them. But these are uh, artisans who want to learn a skill and they own a business themselves. And we take a lot, a lot of pride in that. We have done this since two years ago. Uh, COVID became a little bit of distraction, but uh, we are continuing this year. So far, I think uh, we've done 6,050 out of the 10,000 target that we had uh, three years ago. And uh, we hope that by the close of the year, uh, we'll be able to achieve our target in impacting the lives of 10,000 artists. The process is very simple, as you can see. We've gone through the selection stage, uh, also gone through the soft skills training where we are taking through bookkeeping, how to even secure a loan to improve your business. We, we, we use the state, state, uh, state, uh, state uh, organizations to help us in that regard. Uh, some banks Today happens to be the examination day where they are supposed to justify their inclusion. Um, we are uh, a little bit confident because they've gone through the right training and uh, we know that a lot of them are going to pass, if not 100%. Uh, this, this is a technical training, you know, the te technical aspect of it. We also have the domestic aspect of it, where the dressmakers, the uh, tailoring, and then the catering uh, guys are also going to so, you know, we are We are at different locations at the same time. So I'm sure. Uh, the crew will take you to some of those places to also have a look at the domestic aspect of it. So um, we are basically here to ensure that the examination goes on successful and uh, for them to join the already 4,000 that have gone through this stage past and then actually uh, been equipped to start their own business by GMC Foundation. So at this stage, we can wait for their results. When they receive their certification, Ensure that we organize a graduation for them and then the equipment, set up equipment will be handed over to them to so start their business. In that line, they can also uh, tap in some of the guys in the street and also make sure that they go through the same process to also be trained as artisans. So that's exactly what GMP is trying to do. I'm sure after the 10,000, we actually initiate another one and ensure that we continue to impact the lives of that. Does it tie in with government's agenda to ensure that uh, many people create their own jobs because the public sector is full? Trust me, that's the way to go. No developed develop country, that's how they got there. And uh, it wouldn't be out of place to do whatever we can to support that initiative by government. So we are in. If I haven't moved across the country, the government is doing a lot at the MBTI and the technical training centers. Almost renovating everywhere. Everywhere we've been to is being equipped with new machines and all that. I think we should put government at the back in terms of that. We can also hold it from this angle and ensure that we push most of the young guys into this area, which is actually the bedrock as far as developing our country is concerned. Our monitoring evaluation unit does exactly that. In fact, I'm yet to even receive their uh, last quarter report. You know, they had a lot of activities that couldn't allow them to finish their report. They, by close of, I think uh, next week, I'll be receiving the last quarter report, I think it's the last quarter report, where they will be updating us on exactly what those who have already graduated are doing and how their businesses are faring. So we, we have a tracker to ensure that we don't just throw money away, but uh, the sustainability aspect of that is also ensured.